Hi there, this is Julie Tornquist with parkbench.com and welcome home Indy. And I'm here this morning at First American Title with Lara Paul. Good morning. Good morning. It's so nice to be here with you today. Yes, thanks for having me on. Oh, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I've worked with you on and off for a number of years now, so it's great to sit down and really chat. Yes. Um, so, I know that I never knew that title existed. I didn't know what that was until I bought my first house. Sure. So when I have a client come in, they always are, if they have never bought a house before, what's title? Why do I need that? What is that? Can you explain to me a little bit and to my folks here, what is title and why do they need it? Right. So there's a couple different types of title insurance policies. But what's going to be most important to a buyer is that you're going to get an owner's policy. Um, at closing, and that's going to ensure that you are the legal owner to the property. Um, and you might think, well, yeah, I'm getting a deed to this, but um, there can be things that can show up um, years later. Um, for instance, like I had a situation once where um, it was an estate sale. This daughter swore that she was the only sibling or you know only daughter she ended <laughs> and up you know that people can yeah she was lying under oath on the airship affidavit and then um ended up being a title claim because later on a brother came out of the woodwork and said wait a minute like i was entitled to half of that uh, yeah. the proceeds of that sale as an heir and so i mean that's the type of things it protects you from it's a one-time insurance policy so the insurance then would pay the brother yeah, what the insurance would, would be a claim. so that the buyer doesn't correct. have to vacate the yeah, and, and, uh, yeah, correct. We would make the 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 owner of the home whole, you know. So we would yeah. we would yeah. you know pay the buyer or whatever we needed to do to make sure that your um, investment is protected and that you're still the legal owner to the property. So that's a great thing to do, and that is why you all need it when you buy a house. Right, so, and it's a one-time premium, so it's not right. like any other type of insurance where you're paying monthly. Mm -hmm. It's a one-time premium, and it's. If you think about it, it's your largest investment. So and it's really not a lot of money. It's not. Premium. I mean, it really isn't. It's Correct. a very small amount based on what you're investing in. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's the owner's policy. And then the lender, if you're getting financing to buy a home, is also going to require a lender's title insurance policy. Right. And what that policy does, a lot of people think that, oh, well, why do I need a policy as a buyer because my lender already is getting a policy? Well, they're two different policies. The lender's policy is actually ensuring the lender that they have first lien position so that for whatever reason, you stop making your mortgage payments, whatnot, they wanna make sure that they have that first lien position so that yeah. they are in a good spot should they have to foreclose. Yeah. So that's really not protecting your interest in the property, it's only protecting the lender should they need to go right. take legal action against you for not paying. Yeah, and that's so. that's necessary in this day and age, it absolutely yeah. is. Yeah. So, how, I mean, I, you know, not knowing that title was a thing until I bought my first house, I didn't know a lot of little kids that grew up going, I'm going to be a title agent when I grow up. How did you get into it? So, um, yeah, I didn't know what title was as a kid. Unfortunately, my poor children are now realizing what it is and it's very boring to them, but uh, so they don't want to be title reps when they grow no, up no. either. Um, but no, so I got my real estate license when I was 19 years old. I was working for a brokerage in town and I was a receptionist while I was going through to community college. Um, and I uh, decided to get my license. I was really interested in it. I was a licensed assistant for about a year and I was 19 years old. It was really hard to sell real estate and have people take you seriously. And I would, looking yeah. back, that's I, yeah. I'm aware. I, would, I don't think I would buy a house from a 19 year old now that I'm a little older than that. Uh -huh. um, but so anyway, so I we worked with a really great title rep that was looking. You know, they were hiring in their office, and she knew I was kind of you know floundering a little bit and so she reached out she wanted to hire me and so I've been in title since I was 20 so and so you stayed now. in the in the industry that you apparently really love right uh, yeah and I, life, yeah so. I love it and I've actually I, I moved to first American about a year after I started in the title business okay and I've been here now for close to 15 years Wow very nice yeah it's hard and most people have never been anywhere for 15 years so <laughs> it's, it's, cool. it, this is a good place it's I like good. it yeah so um what what is it you like the most about your job well I I I have a fun job. I mean, I, I really do. I'm an account manager, so I get to go out um, downtown all day, you know, take people to lunch, um, go do trainings. I love training. 
I love training people on home ownership and title insurance and things like oh, okay. that. I think it's great. I love working with new agents. Sure. But most of all, I mean, I just love helping people with the, you know, American dream of home ownership. So I don't actually work with your clients directly. I mean, I sometimes get involved when there's some title issues, but yeah. um, for the most part, I just, I, I love seeing the joy on people's faces when I walk by the closing rooms and they're right. so excited to to buy a first home or to, to upgrade to another home or to get maybe out of a, a bad sure. situation. And, you know, people are so thankful for the help that we offer. Yes. And I love yes. that. That's so it's just super. really helping people. So what makes, because as a realtor, I, you know, use a number of different title agencies depending on what my clients want um, because they get they get to choose. What makes First American different from some of the others? I think it's the people. I mean, mm -hmm. we, um, we have a really good team and um, we have nine offices around central indiana mm -hmm. um we are the company's been around um for like 129 years don't quote me on that oh, wow. but it's definitely over 128 i feel like it's been a year since then so, I'm so gonna this go is with not a new concept <laughs> so it's not a new concept um it's it's a great company we're leaders in technology but really i think it's the people we have a saying at first american that's people first mm -hmm. and um and it's all people, but they really take great care of their employees. So yeah. the way I look at it, happy employees, you know, happy customers. Yes. And um, I mean, there's a reason I've been here for this long. It's not like I haven't been recruited, but yeah. I just, this is home. It's, you know, That's it's my family. Yeah. Oh, you kind of get to work from home. That's yeah. <laughs> right. It feels that way. It feels yeah, like a family. Yeah. And then, I mean, we have some other things that make us unique. Like one thing that's business specific is that, um, to my knowledge, there's not any other title companies in town that will offer um, a credit or a discount on the owner's premium without requiring you to have closed with them or to provide the prior title insurance policy yeah. to get the discount. But we actually don't do that. We actually do what's called a transfer credit. Uh -huh. So anytime I get a title order, um, I go ahead and quote just full rate on the owner's premium. But then when our um, searcher pulls the search documents and our yeah. examiner is now reviewing those to create the title commitment, she's gonna automatically give a discount of 10 to 20% um, if the seller has owned the home for less than 10 years. This line of work has been around for a long time and you talk about the researchers having to do what they do. So how deep do they delve? I mean, you've got people that really research the history of oh, who's yeah. own. Oh yeah, I mean, properties. we go back um, pretty far. I mean, I think we go back generally like 30 to 50 years. It uh -huh. just depends. I mean, sometimes we go back further, but um, but yeah, I mean, we, we have searchers. Actually, it's really cool for me because I work downtown, and so um, most of our branches are escrow branches, so we don't, uh -huh. they don't have the searchers and the examiners and you know that sure. that support staff. And I do here, which is kind of great. We have underwriters here, so I kind of you know can can see that. But uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the searchers will go back really far, and they actually still have to go to the courthouse and thumb through documents because yeah. not everything's online yet. Amazing. Like which it. is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's always funny when I get calls from like investors from California and they're like, can you run a title search? I need it in 30 minutes. And I'm like, whoa. Like, <laughs> no, we still have to send someone to the courthouse to like look through documents yeah. Yeah. for some of it. So. Well, when, when a property's that old, yeah. it, it is. It's going to go back. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank this you. This has been illuminating for me even though I've been in the business for a number of years. Well, great. Well, thank thanks for having me and um, I'm happy to help in any way that I can. So if when somebody is ready to pick a title agent, mm -hmm. they will deal with their realtor. Yeah. But how do they get in touch with somebody here at First Morgan American? Would yeah. they call you? Who yeah. They call the the, I'm an account manager, so the best way is to contact me. Okay. And uh, you guys can reach me. I'm always available on my cell phone, 317-607-1446. Okay. And the email? Email is lpaul at firstam.com, that's L-P-A-U-L at F-I-R-S-T-A-M dot com. Fabulous, thank you so much. Thank you, have that a great day. Fun. Yes, Thanks. thank you. This is Julie Turnquist with parkbench.com and welcome home Indy. Thanks for tuning in.